Then in guys, hope you're well, same process as everyone, Max on either side. The only difference is the embargo, which will be 10.30 on Sunday evening, rather than this evening with it being a Monday game. Uh, we'll start with Naz, please. Good afternoon, Pep. On Monday, you head to Brentford. What have you made of uh, Brentford this season and what challenges will your team face? Well, we know in the past how difficult it has been. Even when we won, it always was tight and we lost the two games we played last season. So we know the difficulty for the way they play, the standards that they have. They are clear and they, they believe it and they apply really well. So, But now they came to face, now challenge for us, new challenge. And in terms of Thomas Frank, as a, as a coach and his achievements to get Brentford into the Premier League and consistently keep them in the Premier League, what are, you, what are your thoughts on him as a, as, a, as a man and as what he's achieved down there? As you said, it's a, unbelievable. So the consistency, the, you know, the club, how rely on him. And, and for many, many years, and everyone comes and knows what exactly what they have to do. When you have a manager for many years, everybody knows exactly what they have to do. That helps a lot. In the beginning was more difficult, but... Yeah, they did really well. With uh, they have a uh, incredible strikers up front. Uh, big, big compliment. I have a lot of admiration of him. And just finally, from me, obviously Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland are back. You've got a, a fully fit squad now. How important is that as we head into another busy period of fixtures in three competitions? Of course, it's really important. Everybody's fit. Everybody's ready. So this is so important. Manu's back as well. So we have everyone for, as you say, the busy period is ahead of us with the Champions League around the corner and many, many games. So that is good to have everyone. Pep, you mentioned about Brentford strikers. Ivan Tony scored both goals in the match here just before the World Cup. How, how do you assess him, given he's only just come back from a long time? He's an exceptional player, not just with the long balls, with the keeping and the set pieces, with the penalties as a guarantee, with the free kicks, and but for many things, is a they can link with him, uh, and he's, he's a extraordinary player. So happy's back, and hopefully that period is forgotten in, in him, in his life, and his family, and and the exceptional players always are more than welcome in the Premier League. Is is the game? Evolving a little bit again because we had a period where you had teams with no strikers and they were could score lots and lots of goals. But through people like Tony and Erling Haaland and maybe Solanke at, at Bournemouth, we've got bigger, like maybe more English style number nines where they win the ball in the air and use their strength. It's just evolution. You have a striker like the names you name it. You don't play long balls. You don't play like a, a typical English style, like you said before. So that doesn't mean it's the way the team play, not because you have a proper striker, striker. But the striker, when is there, at drop five meters, we are playing a false nine. In this action, we are playing a false nine. It was all the time there. It always long ball from the keeper. Yeah, we're playing long balls. So you can do it in both sides. So and. I, I never regret, I never had a big, big problem with a play with a typical striker. My first years in Barcelona, I always played with a striker. My first season in Bayern Munich, all my three years played with a striker. So, I always I said many times, me as a manager, that to the players, the club give it to me. I had to analyze the skills, the quality they have, and after that, I tried to play and make them feel comfortable. So, it's, it's like that. So since last season, we play a typical striker because even Julian, when play a striker, because Derley was injured, Julian plays as a, a striker, striker, different skills, different movements. But is what it is. So, but Brentford, of course, use a lot the set pieces. They are so dangerous in the throwing, free kicks, corners, really, really strong, and and. Yeah, you use a lot direct balls and you have to adapt, of course, because they are really good on that. Andy. Yeah, hi, Pep. Obviously, it would have been great to, for, for Erling to get a run out the other night. Is he ready to, to start now or is it like to be off the bench again? Yeah. He's ready. Everyone is ready. And right now, because they are not injured. As much as they are in the bench, they are ready. 
And John Stone to, to play 90 minutes. How is he feeling after after that? Really good. Have a, it was not muscular. The injury was a little bit the ankle, and when the ankle is okay, the risk is is minor, I would say. And uh, uh, and yeah, it was, it was good. It still needs, you know, make a step forward. It's not the John Stone that we met last season, but uh, yeah, step by step, we have a lot of setbacks this season for many injuries, and hopefully he can, you know, now continue and avoid it. Hi, Pep. Um, you might have seen the Spanish press have started writing some articles about Erling Haaland suggesting that he's unhappy in Manchester. I just wonder, is that, from your view, a tactic just to try and unsettle him? I don't know. You have to ask the media for Madrid if they are unhappy. So maybe they have more info than we have. I don't have that. We don't have that feeling that he's unhappy. Uh, it was because he could not play. It was a two-mount. Injure, but um, yeah, maybe the the media from Spain, especially Madrid, they have more information than us. Can these stories ever unsettle a player, no matter how, no matter how happy he is here in Manchester? We cannot say he didn't adapt quick, and he was not. Uh, you know, he did. He was not fine since arrive. So it's just the level he showed when since the day one arrived. So but so we cannot control like you know you say or the people say. So important is he's happy, when he's unhappy he will take his decision. And, and just finally on, on Erling, obviously coming back into the team, you had to change your style a bit, didn't you, last year to get the best out of him, try and get the balls to him as much as possible. You've been without him for two months. That transition to getting him back in the team, do you have but to I don't know if you see, I don't know you see the game last last game we played against Burnley. I don't know you were in the stadium on TV, but played 25 minutes and every transition, every pass, all the players look at him. So I know how important is with us. So... Uh, we try, you know, all the strikers be happy and especially him and it will depend if how we play. So if we play quite comfortable and good, he will get a lot of balls and after that, that is what we want. And after that, he will do the rest. Is that the embargo for 10.30 on Sunday evening, please, guys?